Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome in general. My name is Alex and today's video is going to be my favorites for the month of May. I haven't done one of these in a really long time. If you'd like to see more of these types of videos from me, then give me a thumbs up and let's get right into it. Let's start off with like skincare products. So the first skincare product I have here is the Essence Hello Good Stuff Deep Puff Eye Serum. I've been using this every single morning because my eyes get super puffy, especially if I like cry or I'm not feeling well the day before, like my eyes will just get super puffy. And this actually works wonders in deep puffing them. It has caffeine and vegan collagen, so it's pretty nice. It does have a little bit of fragrance in there, which I wish it didn't have. But other than that, I've been really loving this. The other day, my eyes were so puffy and I put this on and in like 30 minutes, my under eyes looked pretty normal enough to go outside and do stuff, you know? So that's pretty good and I've really been enjoying that product. The next product I would like to talk about is the Deaceology Gua Sha. I just received this in my Ipsy for the month of May. I will link that video somewhere up here. Um, I've been using this as much as I can. Sometimes I get really lazy and tired and I skip out on it, but usually I do use this. And it's just been something that's really relaxing and it's like a couple minutes to myself and I really enjoy that. These two products have been really nice skincare products for me. The next products are palettes. <laughs> so I wanted to shout out the Nude Prism collection today. Uh, literally the whole collection. I also have one of the lip oils from the collection as well. Um, I've been really loving this blush palette. I do have the shade Pink Prince on my cheeks right now. And I've just popped this out when I need blush, you know? <laughs> I really love the shade Zeze here and the peachy one and the pink prints really draw my attention. Although the other shades will be perfect for the summertime as well. And I just really love the packaging and the collection as a whole. And then we have the Nude Prism eyeshadow palette and this is what that looks like. A bunch of beautiful pinky neutrals and you also get your classic neutrals as well and a a whole row of beautiful shimmers and I love this palette. I've, I'm wearing it today with a different shimmer but I'm still wearing the mattes today. And then I have the Lunar Beauty Kiss Me Lip Oil. This is the watermelon one and this has been something I cannot stop using. It's one of my favorites and I literally take it with me everywhere and I apply it as like if it's lip balm or something. But it's very moisturizing. I use it as lip balm because it's that good. But I've been obsessed with these. The next product I have here is the Star Wars palette from Colourpop. I actually loved this palette. I was so excited to go get it. And in the color story is actually very beautiful for everyday looks, for going out looks. And you can actually split this palette up in a few different ways to get a few different looks. Like right there you have look, another look, and then you have like your neutrals up at the top. I think it's so pretty. Very practical as well. And then I have this from Flower Beauty. This is the Desert Lights uh, eyeshadow palette. These are just shimmers. Uh, I would like to say they are like toppers. They are the most buttery, smooth, gorgeous eyeshadows. <laughs> like, let's just swatch a few shades right now because they are so pretty. Really high shine, really packed punch, and I just really been obsessed with this. I think they're really long lasting. They are honestly so so pretty and gorgeous and they can go well with a lot of different neutrals. I will use it with the nude prism and just top it off. It's like, I feel like the formula is kind of similar to the shimmers inside of that palette, but it's like an extended little range of them and I think for $18 you're getting really nice quality eyeshadows here. And then the next favorite I have is the Jaclyn, I don't know exactly what this is called, Brightening and Setting Palette, I think. This is the light medium one, and I've really been dipping into this, you can really tell. 
This is magic in a little compact. If you want your under eyes to look like the most smooth and seamless, you should get this and try this. You can always return it. That's what I was going to do. I said if I didn't like it, I was going to return it. But I did like it, so I continue to use it almost every time I do my makeup. So it's really nice, and I've been really obsessed with it. The next couple of products... Um, Let's start with like this concealer. This is the Fenty Beauty Bright Fix Eye Brightener. This is in the shade Crep 04. This is what I have on my under eyes set with the kimchi powder and this on top. This is the best under eye brightener I've tried. It's so smooth, barely creases, and you don't need that much of it. It's pretty full coverage for what it is. I've really been enjoying this. I try to use it every time I do my makeup. I wish the packaging was different because it's so dirty and I really don't like that, but the formula is really nice, so I'm gonna continue to use it. And Fenty always comes out with some fire stuff. My next favorite is the Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick in Happy Soul. <laughs> I can barely read those tiny letters. I've also been really heavily using this. Every time I do my makeup, I most likely will grab this. And it's just because it's so easy. It blends out super naturally. And it just looks good on photo, on video in person and that's kind of hard to beat the next product is the wet and wild mega glow blush in peach bums now i purchased this because people were saying that it was a dupe for charlotte tilbury's like liquid blush i mean i like it because it's just really pretty on the cheeks it looks beautiful not too dewy it's just the right amount of shimmer in a blush and the price is like five bucks so you can't really beat it compared to the $40 price tag of those beauty light wands from Charlotte Tilbury speaking of beauty light wands from Charlotte Tilbury I recently purchased the flower beauty spotlight liquid highlighter in the shade opal and I've been obsessed with it it is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter and I mean I never tried that one but this was like $12 and it looks beautiful. I will say you have to blend it out pretty quickly because it does dry down fairly quickly. So, and it just gives a very nice glowy lit from within glow on your cheek. I'm not wearing this today, but I should have. <laughs> I should have. It's beautiful and I highly recommend it for the price. It's available on Ulta too. Flower Beauty is available on Ulta. And the last three products are all from Milani. So these uh, Milani Matte Fetish, I think that's what they're called, matte lipsticks. And these types of packaging, they went viral on TikTok. Uh, I have the shade Pleasure and Secret. I have Pleasure up on top and Secret on the bottom. And Secret has been said to be a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. I think it is. That is Secret right there. And then we have the shade Pleasure as well. Nice nudie. I'm wearing Pleasure today. And then the last product I want to mention today is the Fruit Fetish Strawberry Melon Lip Oil. This smells like candy. It's honestly the best smell smelling thing ever. So good. You kind of want to eat it when you put it on, but but don't eat it when you put it on. Very nice and it actually packs quite a punch with that bright pink color on the outside. I would love to try more of the um, shades of this. It's very nice lip oil. It almost is like a thicker lip oil so it lasts longer on the lips. It's very nice. The last two things are perfume related so let me just get those. The first mention is a light mention. I've been really loving the Ariana Grande Moonlight perfume and it's a floral fruity fragrance and the top notes are plum and black currant. The middle notes are marshmallow and peony and the base notes are vanilla, sandalwood, and amber. And it's just a really nice mix of those and I find that this lasts a pretty good amount of time and it smells very good. The next fragrance has actually been one of my favorites. So I want to shout out Pacifica's Dream Moon. The packaging of this is so nice. 
and as you can see I'm already almost out I did actually purchase a new bottle because I've really been obsessed with this fragrance it kind of reminds me of cloud it doesn't have the same staying power as cloud but for the price of $21.99 I can live with it it smells really good and I just layer it on like a lot and I get compliments on it the notes on the dream moon perfume are patchouli sandalwood and pink rose very nice it's worth a try if you're interested and that's it those are all of my may favorites for the month i feel like it was a lot because i could try to jam pack a bunch of stuff into one video but i hope you found this helpful i hope you enjoyed it if you did please subscribe to my channel for more of these types of videos for me and i will see you in my next video Trust me, like, go to your local Target and, like, take a sniff. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome in general. My- Oh my god, I just fucked up my own intro. Today's video is going to be my May favorites for a little bit throughout the day. I mean, for a little bit, like, it's really good for your lips, honestly. The you know, it doesn't look great right now. My face does not look great right now. It looks like I got decked in the face. Okay. Strawberry lemon. Strawberry. Strawberry.